Education is one of the most critical areas of empowerment. Education enables individuals to make genuine choices over the kinds of lives they wish to lead. It is also an area where you are able to see some of the clearest examples of the discrimination that women suffer. At this time, only 39% of countries provide girls and boys with equal access to education. UNICEF has discussed that education is a basic human right for all, including women and children. Sadly, there are still twice as many illiterate and uneducated females than males. This is because of the numerous obstacles that women are unable to overcome due to the lack of support from both their families and legal institutions. To illustrate, due to high costs, many families would rather choose to send their sons to school over their daughters as they believe boys are more capable of learning, becoming successful, and providing for their families. Many times, girls are also unable to go to school due to location and limited transportation. In some African countries, such as Burkina Faso, girls are unlikely to attend school for some of the most basic reasons, such as the lack of pri private latrine facilities. Malala Yousafzai has emerged as an advocate for equal education, stating that education for girls is an investment that can transform communities, countries, and even our world. Slow education progress for women will have lifelong effects. Almost a quarter of women aged 15 to 24, which is equivalent to 116 million women in developing countries, have never completed primary school, and because of this, they lack the skills to be eligible for work. UNICEF also notes that an educated woman will also be more productive at work and better paid. In fact, the dividend for educational investment is often higher for women than men. Studies from the United Nations Women's Council suggest that an extra year of education will increase a woman's future earnings by about 15% compared to with 11% for a man. Improving female education, and thus the earning potential of women, improves their standard of living and the standard of living for their children, as women tend to invest more of their income in their families than men do. UNESCO's 2013 fact sheet reports that uneducated girls are also more susceptible to sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV, early pregnancy, and other health complications. Some instances involve girls as young as six years old and result in the end of their school career. Consequently, young mothers lack the adequate tools to build healthy, educated families. The GEM report found that educated girls are less likely to marry young. Studies conducted by the Malala Fund also found that each additional year of school a girl completes cuts both infant mortality and child marriage rates significantly. This issue, this issue can be combated. According to UNICEF and Malala, if all girls received 12 years of education, we would see vast economic growth, a healthier workforce, lasting peace, and an improved planet. Malala Yousafzai has been a forerunner in the fight to earn girls their right to a fair education. She started out as an anonymous blogger for BBC at age 12, where she spoke out about living under the rule of the Taliban. She later became a national figure in her country, appearing on television as a spokesperson for girls' education, and at age 17, became the youngest recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. In 2013, Malala created the Malala Fund, where she works alongside allies of education for girls. According to her website, Malala is working toward a world where every girl can learn and lead without fear by advocating for girls, by girls, investing in local education activists, and amplifying girls' stories and their own words to be hurled around the world. Save the Children found that in 2012, there were 3,600 documented attacks on education, including violence, bombing of schools, torture, and intimidation against children and teachers, resulting in death or serious injuries. Many girls were terrorized and sustaining home, but Malala defiantly continued to go to school. In a recent addition to their website, UNICEF vouches for Malala by writing that offering girls basic education is one way of giving them greater power, of enabling them to make genuine choices over the kinds of lives they wish to lead. This is not a luxury. There are millions of girls all over the world who do not have access to this right that is so often taken for granted, who need our voices to speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves. But most importantly, they need our support. Founded in 2013, the Malala Fund champions every girl's right to 12 years of free, safe, and quality education. Help us work together to improve millions of girls' access to education in your community and around the world by going online to www.malala.org to donate to Malala's mission to change the way girls receive their education. In the words of Malala herself, one child, one teacher, 
One pen and one book can change the world. Education is the only solution. Education first. Join hands and support hashtag education for all boys and girls. No one should be left out.